What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Manchester United Ajax Europa League final post-match analysis show. Let me know what did you think of the game, do you think Man United deserved to win this Europa League final? But first, before we talk about the football, my thoughts go out to everybody affected by that terrible tragedy which happened in Manchester and this win surely will make a lot of people happy in Manchester. Congratulations to Manchester United for winning the Europa League. They didn't play attractive football but Mourinho knows how to win. This is actually his fourth European final and he becomes the first manager Rossi Mourinho to win two Champions League and two UEFA Cup trophies as a single manager and uh, he won the first one I think in 2003 and the last one is this year 2017 and you know Man United actually had only seven shots in the final to Ajax is a 17 shots but Ajax you know couldn't break down the Manchester United defense and I think Jose Mourinho and Man United played tactically played this game brilliantly and I actually had a very interesting discussion with you guys on Twitter during the game um, saying that Manchester United hasn't been playing attracting attractive football throughout the whole season I think for the final, for the cup finals, it's, it's justified. In the cup final, it doesn't matter how you play because it's all about the result. And playing well, uh, playing in an attacking style is a bonus for the final. But throughout the whole season, Manchester United, despite having the most expensive squad in Premier League history, to only finish in sixth place and to score actually less goals in the Premier League than Bournemouth, uh, for example, I think, uh, you know, w winning trophies doesn't justify playing defensive, uh, you know, negative football. And I think, you know, um, even though Man United won three trophies in two to total, two major trophies, and you could argue that Man United uh, had a better season than the likes of Tottenham, Man City and even Liverpool. But the thing is that in the long run, Man United fans won't tolerate this. This club, Manchester United, is famous for attacking, you know, exciting, entertaining football. And I'm saying this as a Liverpool fan, even I enjoyed watching Manchester United play during Sir Alex Ferguson's years because they were always on the front foot. They had some very, very exciting wingers. They were always, you know, bombing forward with fullbacks, with wingers, putting a lot of pressure on teams and uh, they sometimes played a very very high intensity high pressure football uh, this is just not Mourinho's style and i wonder how long the man united faithful will tolerate this i think as long as Mourinho is winning trophies as long as Mourinho is playing champions league football they will tolerate this but as soon as you know um, Man United will have a season maybe where they don't win a trophy and that's certainly possible because the Premier League is very very strong and extremely competitive so it can happen I mean this season Arsenal and Man United finished uh, outside of the top four and next season certainly it could happen again even though Man United will sign a lot of very very expensive players I just have a feeling that now that they will have Manchester United have Champions League football they will try to bring in uh, the likes of Antoine Griezmann and uh, and other big players and so this will make of course next season even more exciting even better in terms of the competition will be just insane and uh, the Premier League will be even better next season to watch in my opinion with all these great players all these great managers and I think Man United got lucky with the first goal, Paul Pogba, his shot got a big, big deflection and you know, the first 15 minutes Ajax have actually played the better football and Ajax, you know, had a lot of possession, had a lot of shots, but they just couldn't really penetrate the Manchester United backline. Man United stifled Ajax in the middle with Fellaini, Pogba, Mata and other players, they just flooded the midfield and Ajax just couldn't break Manchester United down. So my big question for you guys is, uh, you know, uh, what is more important, just winning trophies or playing, uh, you know, exciting entertaining attacking football of course i would switch uh, you know liverpool season with manchester united seasons that's not not a question my point is that 
I would rather my team, my favorite team, play attacking, exciting football than this kind of boring football, even if it yielded trophies. It's of course, it's, it's great to win trophies and I would switch uh, for one or two seasons uh, of bo to boring football if it meant that Liverpool won trophies for the next like five or six years you know I wouldn't be able to watch a team uh, as negative as Manchester United and that might sound harsh but because uh, ro during Rafa Benitez years there were some games where I was not happy with the tactics Rafa Benitez sometimes played too much negative football and I think it cost Liverpool titles. We would have won the, the Premier League in 2009 had we not drawn so many games, nil-nil or 1-1, one, one, against, you know, really small sides like bottom 10, bottom 10 teams in the Premier League. And I think if uh, Benitez was, uh, you know, more attacking, we would have maybe won the, those games. Um, so it's a fine balance, you know. Football is all about the result. But I think it's equally important to, to be entertained during watching the games because the season is very long and uh, if you watch like 60 games of a season and most of those games, you know, don't have a lot of goals, they don't have a lot of excitement, I think the season is not as entertaining as, uh, for example, watching a, a team like Tottenham, a team like Man City, a team like Liverpool, who tries to attack all the time, tries to score as many goals as possible. You know, Man United this season hasn't done that. So that's my argument, but I would love to hear your opinion, because this is a, more of a discussion video with you guys. So you can, of course, disagree with me in the comments below. And, um, and I'm really, really looking forward to next season now because five English teams will be in the Champions League and that hasn't happened since I think Liverpool won the Champions League uh, and Liverpool was put in the competition even though they finished outside of the top four that season. And uh, it's funny because, you know, um, Arsenal will be the only top six side missing out on the Champions League after being in the Champions League for 20 years in a row and I found that so ironic and I also found that so ironic that you know some Arsenal fans you know mocked Manchester United mocked Liverpool of being in the Europa League and now Arsenal will be in the Europa League and Man United won the Europa League Liverpool went to the final and of course I would have loved Liverpool to win the final but I don't think our team was ready for Champions League uh, at the end of last season, at the beginning of this season, which just finished. But I, I think now Liverpool are ready for the Champions League, so it will be fascinating to see how far, you know, each club goes. goes. I think the most well-equipped equipped for the Champions League will be Chelsea, I think they will go the furthest. And then it's a toss-up between Man City, Liverpool, Man United, who will go the furthest in the Champions League out of the, the top teams in England. And it will be fascinating to see with Champions League football who these huge clubs will sign because they are they will go for the similar types of players. Man City, Man United, and Liverpool need new defenders, need new fullbacks. All three clubs. So it will be very interesting and very fascinating which which players will they, will they go for. And there is a big big uh, you know likelihood that. Uh, for the same player, two or three big English clubs will be in for, for the same player and then it, there will be a big war and I'm sure that uh, foreign clubs uh, with um, you know, a lot less budget will, lick, will be licking their lips at the prospect of uh, you know, rich English teams playing a lot of money four players and I can see now Antoine Griezmann signing for Manchester United you know I'm not really worried about Manchester United I think um, Jurgen Klopp is building something really special at Liverpool and we will be able to challenge for trophies but that's the you know that's the most exciting and also the hardest thing about English football that there are so many huge clubs with incredible financial power with incredible fan bases, with a great history and it's, it's very very difficult to compete uh, for each and every trophy 
especially because in the Champions League you have the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich. I don't think an English team will be able to win the Champions League next season, but they could go, go close. I can see either Chelsea or Man City getting to the semi-final of the Champions League and who knows, maybe, maybe Liverpool as well if we, if we buy well. But it will be fascinating to see what kind of players will Mourinho, Guardiola, Conte, Klopp and even Arsene Wenger bring in in the summer. So yeah, let me know what did you think of the Europa League final. And do you agree with me on my points or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Goodbye.